anybody using this? There's one right here, no, I guess. No, no, you're. Oh, okay. See, oh, I'm sorry, Mary. You didn't have to go over there. Oh, has or anything. Yeah, no. No, it looks fine. Thank you. Sorry about that. I mean, I did it, and I'm glad. Hi, everybody. Hi, rerun watchers. I'm saying that because the live people aren't here yet. Here they come. Barbara Fisher, beautiful. Now we can start. And Ari Silverstein, great big hello to our ambassador of lounge in New York City, Ari Silverstein. Jack Horoho, how are you, sir? A long time. No, no, see? Shirley Mayer's here. It's great to see you, Shirley. Shirley's always the first to say hi, and I, I know it's going to be a good night when that happens. Bob Davis. Hi, Barbara. Well, here we are. You know, I wanted to, uh, I'm starting with this camera angle because, but I didn't want to hold this up for nobody. I wanted to start the show. Wow, Bob Davis is in the New York pen. I hope they let you out soon, sir. Yes. Greetings from the cadets. Now, here's... I wanted to start the show with this. And you know what this is? It, it looks important, doesn't it? It is. This is an award for surpassing, and Shane Gibson was the 100,001 100, subscriber, Pete's Garage. Um, and you'll notice that my chair is a little different tonight. There's, it says, you can read it just about, says Pete's Garage there in big letters on the back of my chair. And that's what this award is all about. Pete's Garage, who's one of your favorite lounge cadets, of course. His YouTube channel called Pete's Garage, it, it hit the 100,000 plateau after 10 years of tremendous toil and show business. So we're, it's kind of the, the, the theme tonight is, is celebrations. Um, and that's, that's the big one, is, is that. There's a lesser one, too. But um, so we've got a cake, and there's catering. And I'm going to, here, let me give you the full scene here. Don't say the catering word. Don't say catering at Wegmans, or they send you to catering <laughs> instead of the sub line. He, Pete got the runaround. So, so we're here to celebrate... 100,000 subscribers to Pete's Garage, and we're also here to, Ryan, to, what, what, I'm too modest to say it myself. What, what's the other celebration about? The Buffalo, well, <laughs> Buffalo has officially opened, as you may have heard, and uh, Buffalo is celebrating its very first paying customer. <laughs> yeah, you know who that was? Who was it? Bob Helwitz. From the Board of Elections. From the donut booth. Was actually, actually this could, this could go up. Oh, here's, wait, here, hang on everybody. It wasn't here's, come out yet, Pete. Well, we'll bring, okay. here's a little sneak preview for our, for our for VIP our cadets. There's a. That's our VIP cadets? That's a Buffalo cake, ladies and gentlemen. Cookie cake. It's a cookie cake. And that's celebrating our first. Actually, you know, this could be debated. I'm, gl I'm glad Dale's out there because he's a car guy. And Dale, I got, a, I got a licensed shop open in case people don't know it. I should say what Buffalo Lube is. It's a New York State registered motor vehicle repair shop. And it's, it's called buffalube.com. It's like Buffalo, buffalube.com. So anyway, uh, and I'm, I'm the proprietor. And uh, the people in uh, that area know me as Lube Goldman. And I'm, uh, I'm actually the only one there. If you, if you go to Buffalo Lube, you're going to deal with Lube. He looks, he looks a lot like me. And because uh, he's the only one there. He does everything there. Just, you know. Um, and if people want to know more about it, Buffalo Lube, you know, to tie in with our uh, discussion about 
Pete's Garage and his award. He uh, recently featured Buffalo in a prominent episode. This week. See, this week. He came yeah. out, yeah. Pete's Garage came out and... Uh, with his camera crew, for the first time, Pete. Mm -hmm. which was him. Pete's garage, first time he's ever been at my shop. Nobody's ever been there. My, my secret sanctum is now no longer. Everyone's flooding over there now. Jim's been there. But Mary, Mary was there once. And uh, no, no, Mary's a regular there. We used to, actually, we used to hold Lounge Academy there. Years ago. We did for about. Wasn't called Lounge Academy yet. yet. We did. Yeah, for a season anyway. Yeah. And, uh, but Pete came out and because he wanted a video, it was my first repair. <laughs> that here, here's where there could be some contention for who the cu first customer was. <clears throat> now, Bob Helwitz is the first person that booked an appointment. And he made it for the end of the week for Saturday, right? Then in the middle of the week, uh, our very own Dave Corbett, lounge cadet, who hopefully he'll be in studio tonight, um, he, he called and wanted, wanted an, an oil change, and I slipped him in. That's why they call us Buffalo. And... So we slipped him in, and we, we did an oil change and filter. Um, so Dave Corbett was, is really the first, but it, was, it wasn't a repair. It was a soft opening. It was maintenance. Yeah, it was. It was, it was soft a so, right. soft opening. Right. Good, good choice of words. He slipped in the soft opening. The soft opening was <laughs> So that that was that was and it, that was exciting for me. That was um, I, I videoed that a little bit, you know, and so I could have it. And then um, my my first repair was was the uh, Bob Helwitz first appointment, where you know I actually like you know took a part off a car and put a part back on, and that's what Pete's Garage videoed and turned into an eight over eighteen minute epic on uh, Pete's Garage on, on YouTube. You can see... You... And it got a thousand views so far. It got a thousand likes too. So, well, so anyway, that's uh, the excitement here. Well, it might be, Barbara. Um, that, that'll be wonderful. Yeah, we got we to gotta, we gotta figure out uh, a good way to do that. I, I, I've, been think, I've been given that thought. And I'm, I'm allowing the, uh, the Paul Code is here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's get back to the normal, normal programming here. Enough, of, enough about our achievements this week. Let's check to see if my hair, my hair is not really parted to my satisfaction. But uh, that's show business. We'll have to roll with it. Over here, over my shoulder here is president, piano side, is president of WBIG-TV, you all know him, Ryan Lysars, nice to see you on the show, Ryan Lysars, everybody. Hello, audience members. President of WBIG, and now joined by my co-host, my other co-host, Mary. Nice to see you, Mary, now you look you look really nice and loungy tonight. She always dresses wonderfully. For, really puts us all in the lounge. Lounge mood. Just call Buffalo with the award. We had to make the call Buffalo and what? We'll slip you in. Call, call us for an appointment today. We'll slip you in. Now comes the part of the show you've all come to love that we call the beginning of the show, where you watch me fumbling, fumbling with the tablet, which it always makes me do. 
but it's important because then I could see your your requests and comments and wisecracks and questions and responses. This way we get to lounge right alongside you. Say, there I am. Look now, the trick is when I click on it. Oh, is it working? This is amazing. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow, it cooperated for the first time ever. Okay, and I can hear, I can hear my audio through it, so I know the audio is working. Wow, that was easy. This is, things got, the world got really cooperative all of a sudden. Just in the car. I heard a hobby group song. Okay, Bobby Troop has spoken. I love Bobby Troop. I, I heard Jocko do it. You're looking at me. Yes. In a most peculiar way. We got some real songs in this year. Hi, Amy. Oh, okay. Yes. Mary's smile lights up the room. Well, that's good. We can save a lot on the when they cut off my electricity. We'll be all set here. See, the videos I left her. Quite as complex as yours. So sometimes no. if I see something, you'll find it. Yes, Howard told me that. Oh, oh, was I anybody that would marry. That's how I learned Julie. Julie London. I think I put Bobby Troop on it. I mean, Howard on that. Yeah, I think you did. Yes. Because a lot of people just think they were in the I don't. I don't have it uh, conveniently. Yes. Oh, he wrote that. Oh. Yeah. He wrote it with his first wife's private process. Discover that one along the way, maybe tonight. And somebody will find it in the books if, if we even have it. I just, I just know it from hearing Jocko doing it. Yeah, but that's that's the one in my head. here tonight too, ladies and gentlemen. We've got um, we've got some sketches up on the wall that weren't here. Even the, they weren't even here this morning. I just put them up. Did you see the one in the orange room, Mary? Yeah, I did. I was telling you. And then there's one there by the coat check girl. We know. The H. H. Richardson is near the, the uh, coat check girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I saw that. She's in the nut house. Shout out to Dan Berger, wherever you are, sir. A man who regularly comes up from Atlanta just to do a quick walk on at Lounge Academy. Maybe this summer we'll see him, Dan Berger. And Garage is in the audience. Nice to see you. Sophia. Congratulations on your family's distinguished award. Reflects positively on all the garages. Dan Berger. Well, thank you, Dan. It is. Having you with us really helps us do that. We're easing into Friday. Friday evening, that is. It's amazing, isn't it? Beyond amazing. When we were in high school throwing around gas bombs and stuff, who would have thought? Poking people with 
I remember the first, the first Earth Day. I remember being at Kenmore East with Dan Berger. And they handed out those green pins. And I remember, well, you, you knew James Twist. Actually, Dan Berger and I did not know each other. I only knew Dan Berger because he was an icon at the school. That, you know, I never thought I'd be friends with Dan Berger. I mean, it's like being friends with Rock Hudson or something, you know. It's like you're in the movies. It has. It's been too long, Dan. It's nice. So, so anyway, I had that um, that green and white pin for the. I think it was the first Earth Day ever, at least to my consciousness, it was. And then we got a ride home, and David Vanstone, who had a birthday, May six. His mother picked us up in their 1959 Opal, Opal record. Oh, thank you, Dan. And uh, when he got in the car, uh, we gave James Twist a ride home, too. And James Twist got, was, he was in the middle of the back seat between, between David Van Stone and me. Gangster style. And I was a real wimp. I, I use that in past tense because obviously I'm I'm an alpha now. I'm gonna give you a full 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 shot of the party here as I talk. So James Quist is sitting there in the middle, and I was a real wisecracker, you know, and a mad scientist. So I happen to have this vial glass vial in my pocket. It was filled with tri, tri, potassium triiodide, which is a contact explosive, which in the context of 2019 sounds really wacky, but back then, you know, we used, we used to have chemistry sets and stuff. So it's a contact explosive. It has nothing to do with the story. It just happened to be a convenient looking vial that I had in my pocket. From, from blowing up teachers' feet during the day. So I had a Kleenex, a vial, and an Earth Day pin with a little pin sticking out the side. You're supposed to pin it on your shirt. And I have James Twist sitting next to me. And James Twist, we had him convinced that I was, we had him convinced I was Dan Burr, basically, even though I didn't, you know, I didn't hang with Dan Berger back then. Dan Berger represented what, what I wanted to be. I wanted to be this influential person of change, a change agent in the world. And, and we had put on James Twist enough to where, where he, he believed it. He thought I was, he thought I was a drug dealer and, and like a, a weatherman, you know, underground guy, and we, we was just, you know, we just had a lot of fun with Jim, because he was the smartest kid in the school, he had the highest grades, and he was the only one I could pick on, because I was the second biggest wimp in the school, next to James Twist, of course, he really had the advantage, because he was a genius, and went on. We all knew he'd be very successful, and we had to pick on him then because in real life we would never get that opportunity again because he would lap us, especially me. So, so I um, whipped out that stuff and I, I fashioned what looked to be a hypodermic needle um, equipage. As you can see, the vial sticking out one side of the Kleenex and a needle sticking out the other side of the Kleenex. And we said, Jim, you're going to love this. You're never going to look at the world the same. And I started to poke him with the needle. And of course, Dave, Dave was playing straight man, Dave Van Stone, loving it. James Twist was not loving it. You know, we really took that joke a little too far, but that was just a daily occurrence. That's why they call it sophomoric. So, so we, is Dave's mother, Drop, Dorothy drops us all off at our destinations in her 1959 Opal record. 
And that night, in the peace of my home with my family, my mom and dad, and dog and sister, the phone rings, and it's James Twist's father, who isn't just any father, just like James Twist isn't just any person. His father was, yeah, he's the best, Dan. His, his father was the principal of my junior high school. We were in high school. He, he, he's, <laughs> he's not just a dad, he's also, you know, <laughs> like this big important guy who uh, has authority over idiots like me, even if I'm graduated to the next school. So he got a hold of my parents and explained to them what happened, that I was shooting LSD into his son and that I should knock it off. Right, assistant principal. That's even worse, because he's trying to prove himself all the time, you know? So anyway, my parents gave me hell about that. And uh, later in life, as I matured and started going to James Twist as my eye doctor and realized <laughs> My eyesight was in his hands, literally. <laughs> I, be, I came to really feel bad about that and re regret that. I tried to atone for it, especially when I was sitting in his operating room, having him do some minor surgery to uh, my eyelid. I was wondering, is he really... Did you ever bring that up with them and ask them if they remember you? I didn't bring up that incident. I don't think. He remembered me for sure. Of course he remembered me. <laughs> so he's quite a guy because he had every opportunity to get even with me. He could have poked me in the eye. <laughs> and he just, he just, you know, he's just as nice as can be. Which made me feel even worse, you know, that I played a trick on such a nice, successful guy. He is a sweet guy. So he's still my eye doctor. He's, a, he's the best eye doctor in town. Uh, by, you know, by my experience, I know we've, we've got some great ones. James Twist is right up there at the top. So that's my story, Dan, and I'm sticking to it. We'll now start the musical part of the show. There's no doubt about that, Dan. I'm sure he is. I think he's got like hundreds of millions of dollars just from this place is always busy. The patients love him. Mary played a little joke on him. I will. I'm, I'm due. Maybe I'll see him this summer. And uh, Mary was in there just this past year. Since it was actually since she became an artist and started drawing last last time, June, it was right at the beginning of her art career, and she was she was in uh, his his room there where he checks your eyes and they leave you alone for a while to put them for the sake of efficiency so he can see hundreds of patients a day. So they have signs up like, you know, don't play with your cell phone, don't do anything, just be ready to have James Fist check your eyes and, and then pay him and leave, you know, so they can, they can, you know, make the world go round. So Mary was in there waiting for James Fist. She didn't, she followed a sign, she did not use her cell phone. I'm sitting there bored in this room. She's bored in the room. I gotta put in there, yeah, you're not supposed to have your cell phone. So she... She sketched his little, he's got this little round, little round black stool with chrome legs. I've got them, I've got it. Yeah, show it to the audience. This, this last summer, she, she sketched Jim, Jim, James Twist's stool. It's hard to say that. Everybody out there, try to say James Twist's stool. And then, uh, you know, he's all business when he's working. And he comes in, and he knows Mary, you know, everyone likes Mary. And uh, she says, I drew your stool. And he had no sense of humor about that, right? It was like, it was like he was stabbing him with, a, with, a, with an Earth Day pin. 
this is this is this is going to be worth a lot of money, and James Twist is going to be very proud of this. Because this is one. This is before yeah, she that's the he came before she even had a real sketchbook. She just had this black. Yeah, this is about in book. February of last year. Here it is. <laughs> that's um. Yeah, it's a Dr. Twist. I drew your chair. Yeah. And he goes. <laughs> he, he went. Hmm. Yeah, he went. Hmm. That's James Twist's stool. So when James, Dr. James Twist is checking your eyes, that's the stool he sits on. It was one of Mary's first you work. You recognized it. I recognized it. It says, I went, I was holding Yeah, I did. I wrote it down. My fingers at the time. were on it. it says, I wrote it Dr. Twist's chair. It says Dr. Twist's chair below it. We don't have and uh, graphite on paper. It was really, you know, this this chair <laughs> was one of the first things she sketched, and I that yeah, like that like looked up. that like looked like something, and I, I'm, 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 and I think that's when I recognized some talent. Like what? what hang on, you you did that? You can't draw what? And then and then all hell broke loose. She just started drawing, drawing like crazy. <laughs> Ryan's enjoying she these. A real talent for drawing traffic signals. Very realistic. It's no joke? Yes. Yeah, I noticed Ryan that. identified a co the corner on Hurdle by the traffic signals. Yes. It's weird, isn't it? That she I was could do looking this? at that thing just this morning going, did they really look? It looked funny because they have these posts up, but yeah, that's what they look like. And yeah. Ryan showed me a photo. Was it the kind with the deco element? No, no, no these are modern plain. ones, but this one set out of all of the ones on the street. Just this one, one side of one intersection has these unique signals with these tall metal posts at the top. And Mary captured it perfectly. And that's how I recognized where the picture was. Right, that's, that's amazing. I mean, on both counts. I'm surrounded by amazing people. I, I, that, that is not new for me. But this just points it out. Um, Ryan happens to be... Buffalo's preeminent expert on traffic signals and vintage traffic signals and their lineage, and he knows exactly. He's got them all memorized. He knows where they are. You even had a uh, a blog going for a while, but I had to shut it down. Yeah, that was shut it down. It was over. Those traffic signals were over everybody's head. I think is what happened. <laughs> They started replacing all the old everyone ones I would, was yeah. crazy. Everyone I would write about, it would be replaced weeks later. <laughs> wow. So a traffic engineer might be watching your blog. Who else would read it? It's nice to see Gaia out there. How are you, Vicky? We're having a great time. We're celebrating things tonight, Vicky. It's, uh, we're having a party. There's catering. You can see it on the VIP desk. I'll show you. There you are. You can see all the nice catered submarine sandwiches. But it's not a party trip. Yeah. It's not a party trip. Because Pete's Garage, his YouTube channel, hit 100,000 subscribers. So we're having a party for that. And then Pete's Garage was great. He, he brought me a cake. And it, it has buffalo written and frosting on it. So we're having a dual party for her to celebrate these great things that happened this week. Thank you, Dan. Check in from time to time. We'll be here till 11 o'clock. Every Friday, we're here from 7 to 11. Live from Buffalo, New York. Birthplace of Dan Berger. I presume. It's an aggressive knock. Oh, it's handsome Dan. Oh, Elfie's here. What's it all about? 
Dan, thank you, sir. Thanks for supporting the academy. Thank you. What have happened since you? What um, transpired since you called me about his phone number? I went out there this week. Right. Oh, south that way. So I popped in. He's not in the room. His room. So I said, I asked, and I got kind of like a supervisor type. And she wouldn't tell me anything, but she said, go over to the uh, main building. You know, the, you know the place there? And they may know, they may know something. I went over there, and they couldn't tell me anything. So I just went there. 
Well, I'm but thinking he's meantime, probably less than one. He wasn't himself. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he wanted to right. run right. 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 He was running me out of the room. Well, he did that to George, too. That was oh, all right. right. Yeah, so that he a long time ago. George said he just didn't want me there. He was just giving me the bump rush. Oh, yeah. That's what he said. I mean, I knew that, too, but I know him real well. Yes, yes, I know. So, but you thought that was a change. I see it, and now I'm wondering, you know, maybe he's in a, something where he needs a lot of, he needs a lot of nursing or something. I don't know that. Yes, no, I am. I'm just speculating, but they, they were, you know how people hold bad information. Yes, yes, you can't tell you that. Yes, yes, you can't tell you Nice to see Chili Billy out there. <laughs> Kathleen Grace Smiles. Great, great lounge cadets. Oh, no, I know. There's no way to predict it. See, I know when I'm walking in. Yes, I know. I mean, I wasn't going to. Yes, I know. I'm pushing the line to like push it. Yes. Yeah. 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 
burning the time just wait Company Buffalo. I love you, Buffalo. But maybe I could pay him royalties so we could you, use Buffalo. it. That'll be that'll be our song. song. It's, it's written by he, he has not. He hasn't been here. Does he know about him? I think yeah. He he means to come down. He hasn't been down yet. He's been to our house and stuff. You know when we used to do it. He hasn't. Uh, I think he's been here, but not on our Lounge Academy Friday. Yeah. Was it here? Probably. Probably one of our parties. I'm sure. We have so many stars. And it's embarrassing. We can forget which night was which. It's turning into a big night here. Say hi to my nephew. He's going to need some show business tips here. I, I told a story, uh, nephew, a uh, big long boring story that everybody enjoyed. It was, and uh, you, you could watch it in the rerun. That's what you get for tuning in late. We saved you a spot. Your, yeah, your, I see your this. Yeah. Was, I must have come in at all. I'm a little out of the little I understand. I know. Yeah, but you know, sometimes then I get going a little bit. How long have you been out of the country this time? Yeah, a very long time. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, 10 days or something. The last time I, you stopped for donuts, you were on your way back to yeah. Oh, yeah, I was hoping for a little flitter or something then, but I don't see this out here anymore. A flitter? A flitter or something. Maybe a donut or something, but I came for that. Oh, a fritter or donut, yeah. Um, Your coat is fabulous. Amazing. Yes. I'm wearing these colors now. I'm really sorry we don't in so many ways. It's a big night in the big city here at live on WBIG TV. That line was spread to me by broadcasting professional George Apple. It's nice to see you, sir. Your partner. Oh, nice workout. I'll see you later. Oh, no, 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 the world was fine, as far as I could tell. Suddenly I met you, and I dreamed of day or more. Thought I woke up singing, sentimental with your heart and mind. He's dancing gaily now, I taste the wine. Romancing now. This crazy world is. 
has taken on a wonderful design. As long as life endures, it's more this heart of mine. the wine of real romance in now this crazy world has taken out a wonderful design as long as life endures it's yours this heart of mine as long as life endures it's yours this heart of mine My favorite songs, this heart of mine. Nice to see you, Richie. I like your tie. Sharp, looking sharper every time I see him. This one's for Paul Cambria. Tonight, are you up the street watching us next door? show to watch on Friday nights. We'll wait till he's here. This is his song. of your enemy will float by. So this goes out to all the patient people that have been in love. How's that for a story, nephew? Boy, it's it. I was never spellbound. By a starry sky. He stumped so far. What is there? But just by you. First trainers called me this week too. At last. First trainers called me. Oh really? Are you in the horse cart? My love has come over. Oh, was that the verse? Yeah, it's a verse. My only days, they're over. Like a song.
My heart was wrapped in clover. The night, the night Dave looked at you. I found a dream, a dream that I can speak to. When I when I first start playing, I, I'm I'm jumping into a pool and I just flail around, you know. Like, you just splash around. Get used to the water. Backstroke. Here's the backstroke. More backstroke. Now we do that crawl. That's a crawl. Let's see, now we'll, uh, what do you do when you're just idling? When you're just uh, standing there. What do you call that again? Yeah, treading water. Thank you, sir. Can't wait to read that one later. Like now, I'm treading. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in the same place. See that? Yeah, it's kind of exciting when you think about it. Is this an earthquake? Or simply a shock? Is it the good turtle soup? Or merely the muck? Is it the cocktail? This feeling of joy? Or is what I feel the real McCoy? Thanks, Gaia, for. Gaia likes my joke. Richie says he'll call you back. This is the piano operator here. Out in your calls. Richie called you and uh, you weren't there, so he says he'll call you back. Or simply a sh is it simply your shocks? Good turtle soup. Or merely the mockery. Is it the cocktail, this feeling of joy? Is what I feel the real McCoy? Is it for all time? Or simply a lark? Is it Garnet or I see or only as very hard? The fancy for thinking of, or is it the one long last long that Japan leaves? Have you do 
do a little bit, Vista Umlau. A little what? Vista Umlau. A little Umlau? Yeah, can you do a little bit like that? <laughs> sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I made for this. Yeah, for this I do. I do this. I like that a lot. We are the lounge of the world here tonight. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it, about music? You know, we can't understand each other. Nobody understands a word yeah. you're saying. Yeah. But we're communicating in the international language of lounge music. Yeah, we don't understand nothing at all, anything. But it's okay, yeah. I like this. Yeah, I yeah. like it. See? I like that, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful world, isn't it, Kate Fitzgerald? I don't know what this woman is saying, but I think it's the beginning of something beautiful. <laughs> this is the end of a beautiful friendship. We've all been there, right? It's like turning a hobby into a business, right? You start dating your best friend. Of a beautiful friendship again. It ended a moment ago. This is the end. I can see it coming. Of a beautiful friendship. I know for your eyes told me so. But 
not for me. Lead the way. I found more clouds of gray than any Russian play. Hear that? Could guarantee. There's a little Russian collusion going on here. Go to far and get that way. I owe less than I so like a day. Although I can't dismiss the memories of her kiss, I guess she's not. She's not for free. Oh. I mean, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows all your professors at the University of Alabama at Tuscaloosa. We'd like to, some, to reach out to their music department there and see if we can get somebody to fly up, come on and do a walk on for free, and maybe give us, a, give us a little bit of what you're giving the students down there as far as jazz improvisation in the year 2019. So if anybody knows anybody down there at the University of Alabama, let them, let them know that our Lounge Academy would, would love it. Sometime in July would be nice. <laughs> I love you, Buffalo. 
trying to give me a Twenty-one, not two. That's twenty-one, not two. That's not "I Love You, Buffalo." Well, we're gonna have to pretend we know the song. Look, there's a song that uh, Joe Joe Giambra wrote called "I Love You, Buffalo," and I, I'd like to use it as our Buffalo tune. And, and by the rights, we're gonna make it "I Love You, Buffalo." What about merely be Jack was to go right into it as soon as Joey I love you, Buffalo. I love you, Buffalo. The oil change in the park. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, we got a little celebration here. A car aside. It involves me. A little loose poop, maybe. I'd like to thank Pete's Garage for bringing this, arranging this cake. And uh, what does it say on the cake? It says, Congratulations, Buffalo. Congratulations, Buffalo, on your first car repair. And that's a number one. Look at this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Hold it up and go. I love this one. Thank you. There you go. It says, congratulations, oh, Buffalo. Yeah, Lou Goldman, man. That's heavy. Wow. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I guess I should blow it out. Like a candle. Thank you. So you have a couple of a car tunes. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> they do this every time I fix a car? How about Little Deuce? Where's the applause? Where's I blew the out the candle. Thank you, Rich. I always count on Rich. Thanks, everybody. I'm really touched. I might if it pays. You should have just played Happy Birthday. That would get people to pay attention. Happy birthday, Buffalo. We're celebrating a couple of things tonight, Susan Peters. Uh, first and foremost is Pete's Garage. His YouTube channel hit 100,000 subscribers. Can you believe that? That was like, like how many Who concerts full of people? If you can imagine that, all those seats. It'd be like bigger than Rich Stadium. You could fill Rich Stadium and have some left over from in the parking lot. And I've got 37 subscribers at WBIG TV. And, and we're celebrating my first car repair. I opened a car repair shop. It's called Buffalo Lube, Susan. Buffalo Lube.com. Can I call the transmissions? You can. You're tall, you can reach them. Hello, Mrs. Don Missel. Nice to see you. Say hi to Don. Come fly. Come fly with Susan Peters. You can use some exotic food. There's a bar in Bar Bombay. Come fly with Susan. Fly, come fly away. the food for you. Fly with me, come fly off in the blue. 
Once you get up there where the air is rarefied, we'll just glide, starry eyed. Up there, I'll be holding you so near, you may hear angels cheer. Weather wise, it's such a lovely day. Say the word, we'll beat the bird. Acapulco Bay is perfect for a flying honeymoon. They say, come fly with me. Come fly away. Wonderful. Do your washing song showing off. Tell them we're going to do the double, you know what, tonight. Inside joke with Don Missile. Oh. Frederick's here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you, sir. Frederick's an ambassador. We're not sure to what. Maybe he drives the ambassador. But he's good at it, whatever it is. Ambassador with the United Nations. This is Paul Dakota. I don't think. Oh yeah, Paul. Paul Dakota is the ambassador of good music. mountain if she wants them out of the way crazy she calls me sure I'm crazy crazy in love and he would say As she wants it, so shall it be. Crazy she calls me. Sure, I'm crazy. Crazy in love. Like the wind that shakes the bow, she moves me with her smile. The difficult I'll do right now, the impossible will take a little while. If I have to hold up the whole damn sky Sigmund and Bob Russell. What else did they write? No. But you just know these people cannot write one great song. They can't. Well, that's 
true. I've got a couple examples of that. It's almost worth it, you know, just to get one good song out. Yeah, I have been meaning to talk to you about this. About anything in particular? No, not like Yeah, yeah, good. That's the best, because that flow of consciousness. This one's too deep. But we'll do it anyway, dancing in the dark. Till the tune ends, dancing in the dark. And it soon ends, they will see wonder. Ladies and gentlemen. 
his songs. First couple of Gregory wrote it. Henry Minnesota. And Johnny Mercer. Janet's here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you. Great having you here. Right up from the Florida Keys. Stick around. The only thing I find of my baby. Dream a while, scheme a while. We're sure to find happiness and I guess all those things you always find. Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell, my baby. Diamond bracelets more. They don't have one, baby. Till that lucky day, you know darn well. Well, baby, I can't give you anything but love. I should have seen it in your eyes. 
Look how our dreams came true. See how I've got me. Maybe you've got me. Through it all, just one thing time. A little thing called love. Something deep inside. You and me. Like the rest, we once were the best. Look what we become. Isn't it a crying shame that we almost made it, but we wanted it all? WBIG-TV's Lounge Academy because it's Friday night. It's a special night. It's kind of a dual celebration. So I'll drink twice. Three does of peace, love, and peace. Was it peace, love, and drugs, or peace, love, and rock and roll? Peace, love, and rock and roll. Was that it? So this will be three days of lounging, and you were at Woodstock. Really? I didn't. I didn't know that. Wow. Here's one for Barbara Fisher. I'm friend of 442. Remember the old 
this is great. It's 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 Garage Junior and Mrs. Garage. Nice to meet you, sir. Once more. Well, there's no mistake in this kid. How many how many subscribers do you have? That's the whole garage family. It's Maria and Garage Junior. Yeah, chip off the old block, that's for sure. That's what a family looks like with 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Right there. It's impossible. Tell the sun to leave the sky. It's just impossible. It's impossible. Ask a baby not to cry. It's just impossible. in North Carolina or in Buffalo. When she walk in the Jocko's room, that's the song that came up. It's impossible. And that's the way it's always going to be. Thank you, Barbara Fisher. Back at you. Group we got around the piano today. It's like, it's like a jury exam. It's great to see you, John. I'll be tired of you when stars grow tired. When I am tired of dreaming, I'll be tired of you. This I know is true. When winds grow tired of blowing,
grass is tired of growing. Then I'll be tired of you. Beyond the years, from day to night, till wrong is right, till the birds refuse to sing. echo of my only love will still be whispering, whispering. If my throbbing heart should ever start repeating that it is tired of beating. Then I'll be tired of you Tired of you Thank you, Teresa She's paying attention to the lyrics out there that's a great song, isn't it? I learned that from watching a doubly board of black and white. One of his guests did it. It was a show in uh, in England. I don't know if we got it here. Was it really? Wow. Beautiful. Lounge Academy. Got some Dan. It looks like he's got his. Are you doing any Uber? Or any? Hello, YYZ, Handsome Dan's Toronto friend. Diane, oh, nice. Sit back and enjoy, Diane. Relax, you're part of the lounge. You're a lounge cadet now. Hold a cocktail in one hand and your pet in the other and put your feet up. Don't mix them up. Keep us going in the background. And that's why you can check in on Handsome Dan. I was doing all right. Nothing but rainbows in my sky. I was doing all right. Never noticed the rain till John came by. Now, whenever you're away, can't sleep nights and suffer every day.
always. Listen to the din in the room. We should record this din and play it in the background on normal nights when we're not celebrating two big things. Here it is. 
Does he? Because he's been watching the show. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure what his YouTube channel is about. I'm just assuming he must have one. Runs in the family. I don't know, but that's interesting. I think so. You know, I might not, because I think I think I once found the music because I wanted to learn this song. Okay. I think I go through this routine every, every time, don't I? I love this mic, is it? I love it. I love it. Oh, you want it? They do, yes. You want it? Yes. 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 Depends how much trouble we want to look to get into. That's all right. Well, um, let's just do it. You want to do it. You know, let's just do the. I can take the signals. Yes. This has a lot of pages, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of paperwork in show business. So let's just do it once, but then at the very end, to end it, I'll repeat that last verse a cappella, and we just give like a little flourish of chord. Well, you know I'm going to totally screw this up no matter what instructions you give me. You should know that by now. You, you, you act like you're dealing with like a real musician. Look at this. It's like a flight plan call. Did you file this with the FAA? Well, I don't know it, no. And I'm, I wish I knew it. I love this tune. Yeah, yeah. God is the Lord, and was so divine, it's broken and cannot be undone.
Time to rest your weary eyes But tomorrow's another day Rosalie does hide away Yes, tomorrow's another day Rosalie does hide away It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around, finally found somebody who could make me be true. Could make me be blue and even be glad just to be sad. Thinking of you, some of us are My never may be. I never remain. My never be cross or try to be lost. They wouldn't do. With all your faults, you I adore. With all your faults, it's all you I adore. It had to be you, wonderful you. It had to be you.
honey. From heaven. Baby, we you and me. Every time it rains, it rains. My clothes and me fall. Don't you know each cloud comes day? You find your fortune falling all over town. Make sure that your umbrella is upside down. Save them for a summer day, sunshine and showers. Baby, you want to change your life. Oh, baby, you want to have showers. It's going to rain. So when it starts to thunder, don't run under a tree. There'll be pennies from heaven for you and for me. We got pennies from heaven for you and me. Equal opportunity weather. It's going to rain on everybody. Okay. Of me, why not take all of me? Baby, can't you see? I'm not good without you. Take my limits, baby. I love you. Won't you take my arm? I ain't never, baby. I'm never gonna use it. Your goodbye has left me with eyes to cry. How can I go on without you? You took the part that once was my heart. Why not take all of me? Garden of Eden. That's what I mean. We got those Creole babies with flashing eyes. Softly whispering, tender side. Stop! I want you to give my lady fair a little smile. Stop! 
I bet your life you'll linger there a little while. There is heaven right here on earth with those beautiful queens. Yeah, we're well, way down yonder in New
if you let me you're gonna love me like no nobody's love me come rain or come shine happy together i'll happy together won't that be fine days may be cloudy or sunny or in or we're out of the money i'm with you always i'm with you rain or shine
lullaby of the leaf. Lullaby of the leaf. Let's do that one. Yeah. Lullaby. Lullaby. Yeah. We're gonna put Barry in there. Oh, oh, Watch me with a million eyes Sing me to sleep a lullaby of the breeze oh, Cover me with skies of blue And let me dream a dream or two Sing me to sleep a lullaby of the leaves Well, I'm breezing along with the breeze Hearing a song Familiar to me, I've heard it before. Ooh. Feel that Southland in my soul, then I know I've reached my goal. Sing me to sleep, lullaby of the leaves. Cradle me where southern skies can watch me with a million eyes. Save me to sleep a lullaby of the leaves. Cover me with skies of blue and let me dream a dream or two. Save me to sleep a lullaby of the leaves. Well, I'm breezing along with the breeze. I'm hearing a song right through the trees. And that pine melody caressing the shop. Familiar to me, I've heard it before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Feel that Southland in my soul. And then I know I've reached my goal. Sing me to sleep. Lullaby of the leaves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lullaby of the leaves, lullaby of the leaves, lullaby of the leaves. Oh my God. I heard that song on Prairie Home Companion. That's right, Garrison Keeler had to sing around and I was like, wow. We'll do one more. So we'll do one somebody more. Somebody else a chance. Oh, else else yeah. Or somebody else a chance. Get out of the bathroom. Get out of the bathroom. Did you get a brownie? One of them. Look at Monty Python. Yeah, quite a friend. We'll do a short medley. We'll go to. We'll do a. Uh, you make me feel so young yeah. and you're young. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> you make me feel so young. You are young. You make me feel like spring is spring. It is spring. Every time I see you smile, I'm such a happy man. Individual. The moment that you speak, I want to go play hide and seek. I want to go and bounce. Just like toy balloons, baby, you and I, we're just like a couple of dots running across the mountains. Yeah, we're picking up all the kids.
get me now. Baby, you make me feel so young. You make me feel so young. Bells will be rung and a wonderful fling to be flown. Even when I'm sad and blue. Gonna make me feel what I do. You make me feel so Baby, you make me feel so You make me feel so Very, very tales can come true You can have it to you If you're young and hard For a time you will find to be narrow of mind If you're young at heart You can go to extremes With impossible dreams Laugh when your dreams Fall apart at the seams But life gets more exciting with each passing day when love is always in your heart or on its way don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth to be young at heart sing it if you know it oh i know it for as rich as you are you'll be richer by if you're young at heart And if you should survive To a hundred and five Think of all you derive Out of being alive Here is the best part You'll have a head start If you are among the very young and You make me feel so young at heart Thank you, thank you, thank you all the beautiful people. We will be at Nietzsche. We're going to be at Woodstock. Yeah, we'll be at Woodstock for sure. Yeah, we're going to bring our own stage too. Right. We're going to be at Nietzsche's this Sunday, Mother's Day. For the sainted mothers. 5.30 to 6.30, doing our thing. So part of the Nietzsche's Jazz Festival. Yeah, scope it out online.
gotta look at that. At the notes. Who's sending all those? Who's sending all those hearts? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>
got a book this thing. She loved I can't read. When she reads the palm, looks it up again.
Dan Woodruff, that was terrific, wasn't it? Thank you, Barry. I guess nobody else likes it. I'd like to say hi to David Pettigrew out there. He's, I think he might be home alone. I think I saw something on Facebook that Dave Pettigrew's wife was uh, 
I don't know, Vegas or someplace? Yeah. Howard Kunz. And, and same thing with the Howard Kunz? Did he check in? Check in. No, I, I don't see Howard. Oh, there's Howard Kunz in the audience. It's Howard Kunz. Please check in with at the booth. Kate Schwindler is here. Thank goodness. Now we can have a party. George, is there anything you came hoping to hear tonight? Anything you came ho hoping to hear tonight? Howard Clinton said hi, you're right. How are you, Howard? Nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you, Kate. Well, you're part of the party, crew. Been around the world in an airplane. I can't get started with you. Got me downhearted on a comma. I can't get started with you. George, maybe you'd like to hear something from Shaft. Uh, maybe it was maybe something from uh, Bert Bacharach. I'd like to hear house, not a home. Yeah, well, that makes three of us. Shout out to Marta Vago. How are you, Marta? I'll say you're in California. I assume you're out on the coast. They played that already. What are you talking about, George? What's it all about? Healthy? Is it just for the moment we wait? What's it all about when you sort out? Hey. 
to be cool. Classic 
pounds. Um, thanks, everybody. There's a pause slowly creeps, slowly goes viral across the lounge. Remember this one, George? a big hit for you. Have you met Miss Jones? Someone said as we shook hands, she was just Miss Jones to Dave Corbett. Then I said Miss Jones. You're a girl who understands. Thank you, sir. That must be free. Dave Corbett, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, another big round of applause. It's wonderful seeing you here. Come back again. Next time you're in from Russia. from Russia, from Russia with love, from Russian collusion, sounds pretty good, huh, George? Then I said, Miss Jones, then I said, Jones, you're a girl who understands, I'm a man who must be free. All at once was scared to death. All at once I had the earth and I had the skies. Now I've met Joan and we'll keep on meeting till we die. Miss Joan and I. Everybody. It's always, it's always exciting to play for an all show business audience. They understand the pain of the creative process. There's one, George. This one. They're a modern Stone Age family. The Kunzes meet the Kunzes. They're a place right out of German history.
the clock at eight. <laughs> but what a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Adam Bounds. He can have a roll and false alarms. Half the universe is on the So I flip a little too. I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a Take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that bell that rings. Cause I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. Tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me of mine, and I've got a world that swings. Adam Bounds, Cape Canaveral and false alarms, half the universe is up in arms, so I flip a little too until I'm holding you, what's the hassle, I'll buy the castle, we can live like kings. I've got a world that you've got a world that we we've got a world that swings we've got a world that swings a world that swings that's from the nutty professor no really <laughs> And we saw Borgia and Bess. Wow. But with the Budapest version. White character. What? White character. Made in the New York Times. What? The Georgian family didn't let Except for the white character. I see. Wow. Is that how it is there? No, 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 no. Just there. That was just that producer. Oh, okay. Where was he going to be buying 45 Budapest? Oh, man. <laughs> that must have been probably had some good moments. Yeah, like I want you to get my coat and it said gold. You know? yeah. And then they were so pathetically singing, so many people doing solos, you could hear them going like, Is there still a way to learn this? You know, like, you know. Yeah, just pronouncing it. Yeah, yeah. Wish I found this song earlier when Paul Kakoda was here. He wanted some Bobby Troop. He loves Bobby Troop. This is, uh, too bad we weren't all here at the same time today, George. You know, with Paul Kakoda, he likes Bobby Troop. Let me, let me give you a little average there. <laughs> Ready, George? Yeah. Should we both sing it, or you want? How do you want to do this? Yeah, sure. We can chat together. I'll, okay, you take it. Well, I'll I'll try to. If I hear some harmonies, I'll sing it. Is 
say I did speed for you. chat about the dresses they are wearing. Isn't that so true, George? They chew the fat about their dresses and their neighbors' fights. A lot of words in this song, George. They like to chat about the dresses they were wearing that night. They chew the fat about their stresses and their neighbors' fights. Inconsequential things they mention don't really care. No, I can't read it, it's too smart. But that's a day. Just a game. Girl talk. Don't you? Those girls can talk. From the top again. They like to chat about the dress that they will wear tonight. They chew the fat about the dresses and the neighbors' fight. Inconsequential things that men don't really care to know. They call essential the things. the same they call the time of night. The lights are dim. This room's full of smoke. Those were the days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they'll probably say we could. That'll be wild. Hope we could sell it at the bar. Yeah. 
Oh, this is a nice one, George. I don't know if it's cloudy or gray. Cause I only
Yeah. As soon as you try to be Eric Garfunkel, your, your voice can't do what he does. That's it. No. That's it. It's, I just. Bye, Joan. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. Now, want an update? I thought it was good, you know? But I mean, the, the, you look at the crowd, Howard, it, it speaks for itself, doesn't it? As all good things must yeah. come to an end. Time for test pattern and signing up. WBIG. Somewhere in my better ones, but hey, I didn't play too much tonight. That was nice. That was nice, Richie. That's my, my evening sign out here. Yeah. Hey, if you know I can get that, if I can get that gig at the stadium for baseball, let me know. I'll do the national anthem. That'd be a great touch. I saw, I saw a guy the bridge, for the Atlanta yeah. Falcons play the harp uh, down there for it. Yeah. And also this. Put this in the fridge. I know there are a few old bottles we can probably get rid of our yeah, old with or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we should take the old ones out, though. Jordan, oh, that's OK. Um, the brownie I mean, wants to serve it. Brownie, you know what? No, I need a container for donuts. Yeah, no, leave it there, Howard. I mean, that machine okay. in the case. So. I need the plastic container for when we open the donuts. What's wrong with that? A plastic container. No. Howard, are you done with your drinks here? No. This chop's off. Mary, how you doing on the wine out here? Are you still going? What, is that mine? Yes. Oh, maybe it is mine. Okay. Howard, how about your two drinks there? Are you done? Yeah. So where is mine? I don't think I see my wine out That's there. That's not your wine? No, it's Okay, not. then it's, I'm going with it. That was a nice big party that peaked, huh? Okay. I know, we did well. Wow. 
Thanks, everybody. Did you know Pete was going to bring such a Diane Woodruff, it was a pleasure, pleasure seeing you once again. Thanks for joining us from Toronto. Glad you enjoyed the evening. Barbara Fisher. We'll see you again next week. Until then, keep, keep lounging and... Uh, We'll see you then. I'm going to use the old uh, finger to get us into the ether. Good night, everybody.